whatever. <clears throat> um, got the chain. So this is what I was talking about with the chain. If it can go up, I should even tighten mine a little. See how it goes up a little more than an inch there at the at the lowest part. The, low, the, the loosest part is around where, where your foot ends. I'm not really, I'll just run down the process fast of tightening the chain. <clears throat> You're not going to actually probably do it, but if you look back here, this is the back swing arm. You can see you have the the nuts um, for this is the actual tightening of the chain sections. You have one on both sides, and this is the um, actual axle part that goes through the whole the whole back wheel. And you have you can't see mine because it's really dirty and it's niched off. But there are little markings right here that show you. And you just when you tighten the chain to make sure the back wheel's straight. You have to make sure on each side they're at the same marking or at the same spot. <coughs> and uh, so what you do to, to um, tighten your chain is you uh, put a wrench on this side to tighten that. Or uh, to not tighten it, but hold it in place. And you take... You're going to loosen this this side is what you're going to loosen. You have um, this right here. is uh, called a cotter pin. It goes um, all the way through and then spreads out so that this can't turn when you're riding or get loose on its own. Um, it's just anywhere, any, any sh shop give you a million for free. Uh, uh, so what you're going to do is take some pliers, uh, spread that in, and uh, every time you use you're going to have to replace the cotter pin. Um, you can only use cotter pins like twice. Um, so I'm not going to actually do the process, but you squeeze in there and uh, you end up removing the cotter pin so now you can loosen this. You have the wrench on that side holding that nut. You loosen this. Don't take it off. Just loosen it. <laughs> and, um, and then that's loose. This is free to, to move um, and and tighten <clears throat> or loosen the chain. So what you do is you just um, <clears throat> tighten or loosen these depending on what you want the, the, the chain to do. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. Tighten and loosen these on each side. Um, <clears throat> I don't remember which way I believe. Turning it. Uh, towards the bike on this side is loosening, uh, tightening, fuck, I don't know, whatever. Um, you get the picture though. You just tighten those on each side to, and you keep checking the chain like I showed you before until you have it at your, at the thing you want it. <clears throat> and then, uh, <clears throat> make sure that, uh, the markings on each side are, um, are the same. And then, uh, you're just going to backwards process of putting this back on. You tighten it fully, insert the cutter pin, spread it out. And uh, basically that's it. Um, to check if the back wheel is straight enough, you're just gonna look down the sight. Uh, you can't really tell with this, but if you look down the sight and you see that the chain um, doesn't curve or have any, like, it just goes straight all the way past where your foot would be, then you're all set. <laughs> and um, as far as the wheel goes, see how there's, uh, hopefully you can see, see how there's a uh, little piece of metal that goes, this extends out a little, it doesn't really extend out, just, there's two niches there, I don't know if you can see, I just make sure the back wheel is in between both. Uh, next we have, since my bike has, um, since my bike is, uh, actually I wonder why that's so, anyway, I'll just explain, this is the, um, this right here that I'm showing you. You can see where it is on the bike. It's right in front of the brake. Um, it's uh, the oil level um, that shows you your oil level. Um, low, you can, oh, you can see low and full. Mine's usually in the middle. I just checked it recently. So I think I will actually need it soon though. You can see. Um, I might have to add some oil soon. I think it actually has been 4K. I changed to 26,000 and now I have like 30, so it's been 4K. I really actually am almost time for an oil. Um, but for the oil drain, actually, I'll just show you that. Let's go into the oil. Um, um, that shows you the level. And right here, you just take this little line off, and it has a, 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 it shows to the top of it. It shows to the top of this thing. You can't see my finger. It shows to the top of this thing right here. And uh, has a little covering just screwed off, and that's where you pour the pour the oil in. Um, <clears throat> the oil drains out. Um, I'll show you where the oil drains out. You can see it better from this side of the bike. Uh, 
Just, oh, oh shoot, that's right, I have my fairing on there. God damn it. Okay, well, we're in my garage right now because it started to rain and I didn't feel like being out in the rain to try and explain this stuff, so I'm in the garage. Anyway, so the oil drain's right here. Put the fairings on it so you won't be able to see. Um, it's right in front of the shifter and it's right here where I'm tapping. If you take the little fairing off. And uh, basically it's just a box and it has a screw and you unscrew the bottom. It's around, it's facing the floor. And the uh, oil just drains right out of that. And then when it's all out you just put the screw back on and you fill it up. From where I said before. Fill it up from right this thing. Right above, right above the... Right there. And then when it's time to change the oil filter. <coughs> oil filter it is right in front of this back wheel see the exhaust pipes well that thing right there that it's shining on right there is the oil filter see that hole right there I usually have to stick your I have to I don't know if I can get a good view of it I'll try to give you a little bit of it that's probably the best I can get right now because it's really dark in my garage but you can see that thing right there is I'll show you my old one so you can see what I'm talking about about <laughs> has a has a little um, a little, has a little s s socket um, on the on the top of it, so you can use a socket wrench to get it off. Unlike the Suzuki oil filters, it's <sighs> my old air filter. Uh, so it looks like this. Uh, this is my old one. Has a little knob on the top like that, so you can use a regular socket wrench on it. But I didn't have one at the time, so see this is the hole I punctured with the screwdriver to turn it. Just end off with a... Sounds nice to me. Well, there's a view of my bike. Looks cool from the side, I think. See, that That makes it look pretty cool. But the face with the freaking headlights looks kind of weird to me. But, okay, well, I hope this was kind of informational. Tells you where some parts are.